Hi, this is Jillian with another episode of Marketing Easy Peasy, because marketing your small business online should be easy peasy. Today I'm going to talk about LinkedIn and how you should be backing up your data, backing up your connections, so that if for any reason you ever lost access to LinkedIn, you would not lose access to all the people that you have spent this time building a network with. So I'm going to show you how to quickly do that. So log into LinkedIn and click on your me. And then I want you to click on settings and privacy. And this is where you're going to come to. And I see that I have 1457 connections. What I want to do is back those up, get a list of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to where it says how LinkedIn uses your data. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a copy of the data. So it says, see your options for accessing a copy of your account data connections and more. So I'll click on that. And then what I'm going to do here is this would be every, uh, you know, all sorts of different things. You have two choices, download your larger data archive, including your connections, your contacts, your account history and information, blah, 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 blah. That's going to be a lot. What I'm going to do today is I just want to show you how to back up my connections, how to get a list of all my connections. So you can come here and figure out which one you want to do. But for the uh, intents of this video today, I'm just going to show you how to get your connections. So what I'm going to do is click here, want something in particular, and I'm going to choose connections. And then I'm going to request that archive. And I see right here, it tells me that uh, the download is going to be about 10 minutes. It takes a little while to do that. It's going to ask for my password, so i got to make sure that I have my password before I start this. So many of us wander around without our password, so let's see if I have it. Hopefully that's right. Oh good, it is. Okay, and so that's going to take about 10 minutes. And then when it's done, it's going to come back and it will go from being faded blue to uh, hopefully saying it's ready to download. So while we're waiting for the file to be processed by LinkedIn, let's go ahead and see what the difference is between the two different options we could choose. So we chose just the simple one of looking for our connections. That's going to take only about 10 minutes. Taking the download of larger data archives is going to take a lot longer. I believe it's 24 hours, but let's go over to the Help Center and get the details. So if we go to the Help Center, I'm just going to close up the COVID notice here. We get all the information about how uh, LinkedIn lets you download your account data and what you can do with it. And it kind of goes through and, and gives you an idea that, um, you know, how long it's going to take and that, of course, once you close your account, you can't do this. So this is very important. So if you close your account, or if probably if your account is closed, you also can't do this. So this is something you need to do while your account is active. So there are two categories. One is the information that's available within 10 minutes, and then the other one is available within 48 hours. So if we click on the 10 minutes, we see that it's all sorts of different things. We chose uh, right now just to do connections. And it's good to know that this is only my first degree connections. This isn't going to be all my followers and second degree and all that sort of thing. So that's uh, very interesting to know. And they even give you a little note here that I'm not necessarily going to see the email address for every single connection because some people in their privacy settings don't want to have their email address shown. So that's just something you should know too. Um, so as I go through here, this is all the stuff that you can do within 10 minutes. Now, the other larger data file, that's the one that takes up to 48 hours. And you can see that if I click on that, all the different things that you can get. And it's like pretty much looks like, you know, every, everything you've ever done, every, I'm amazed, ads, it contains every ad you've ever clicked on and um, who you follow and comments you've made in groups and um, group posts and, you know, what you've liked and on and on and on. So you can see that that's going to be a lot of information. So that's going to kind of give you a, a huge uh, bird's eye view of everything that you've done on LinkedIn. So no wonder it takes so long. That's quite, 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 uh, quite a lot of data. 
And we see here that when it's all said and done, where did it go? When it's all said and done, it says that we're going to get a link in an email and it will tell you to download your information. It's going to be probably a zip file or a CSV file. And it's only going to be available for 72 hours. So it's kind of like LinkedIn's doing its magic, but it's timely. So it's like a snapshot. So you have 72 hours to actually go and do something with that data. So let's, uh, let's go see. So this is the help topic, downloading your account data. I suggest everybody go through and read that. So let's go back and it's still pending. So it's probably going to be a while here. Okay, so we have finally got the email from LinkedIn that my data archive is ready. It sends me an email, says I can just go ahead and download this. So let's go see what that looks like. So uh, I got the message that I was able to uh, download my archive now. So let's go ahead and download and see what it looks like. So I'll click there. And here is my file. And as you can see, it has the first name, the last name. Well, that's interesting. The majority of people, it does not have their email address. That most people are not just giving that away. At least though, I do have the names of all the people. And at this point, I see their, their last name, their first name, their last name, the company, their position, and when we were connected. Okay, there you go. As you can see, uh, we did get the um, data file and it was a zip file, ended up being a CSV file and you can go through that and you do have the list of connections. Now, what's interesting is the majority of people did not reveal their email address. So that's interesting to know. And one thing that I would caution you with is that just because you do have people's email addresses, do not add them to your email list. Email lists have to be permission-based. All the email platforms need to do this, and you need to respect all of your contacts by never adding people to your list without their permission. If you want to invite people to your email list one at a time, that's perfectly fine. Do that through your regular email, um, but don't just take a bunch of people and get their email address and add it to your list because that's not permission-based marketing. So please never, ever, ever do that. And I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Online Marketing Easy Peasy. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, please leave a comment and we respond to each and every comment that we get. And if you want to not miss the next episode of Online Marketing Easy Peasy, be sure you subscribe, and then that way you'll get an email as soon as we post the next episode. Thanks.